cell organelles. The cytoplasm shows several membrane-bound structures called organelles, which perform different functions and keep the cell in a dynamic state. Endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi, lysosomes, vacuoles, mitochondria, plastids, ribosomes, etc. are the organelles present in the cytoplasm. The endomembrane system includes endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, lysosomes and vacuoles. Endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum was used by K.R. Porter for fine thread-like structures in the cell. It is a network of lipoprotein microtubules extending from the outer nuclear membrane to the plasma membrane. Endoplasmic reticulum divides the intracellular space into two distinct compartments, that is, luminal inside endoplasmic reticulum and extraluminal cytoplasm compartments. Structurally and functionally, two types of endoplasmic reticulum have been recognized. They are A. Rough endoplasmic reticulum, RER. This is also called granular endoplasmic reticulum. The surface of the membrane is studded with ADS ribosomes and has rough texture. B. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum, SER. This is also called a granular endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum membrane do not show ribosomes and appear with smooth surface. Structurally, these are composed of cisternia, vesicle and tubules. 1. Cisternia. They are long, flattened, and usually unbranched in parallel arrays. 2. Vesicle. They are large, round, or spherical shape. 3. Tubules. They are small, smooth walled, generally with branched structures of various sizes and shapes. Functions of endoplasmic reticulum. 1. Endoplasmic reticulum provides mechanical support to cytoplasmic matrix. 2. It acts as circulatory system for intercellular transport of various substances. 3. Rough endoplasmic reticulum provides surface area for the synthesis of proteins. 4. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is associated with the synthesis of lipids. 5. Endoplasmic reticulum is a seat of origin for Golgi complex. 6. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is involved in detoxification of toxic substances. 7. Golgi complex takes its origin from rough endoplasmic reticulum. 8. It plays a role in cell plate formation during cell division in association with Golgi complex. Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus was discovered in 1898 by Camilo Golgi from nerve cells. All eukaryotic cells possess Golgi apparatus except RBC of mammals. It consists of 1 to 50 units. Each unit is called dictyosome. Each dictyosome consists of various types of morphological components. 1. Cisternia, which are flat disc-shaped sacs of 0.5 micrometers to 1.0 micrometers in diameter. They are stacked parallel to each other. There are three to seven cisterni in the dictyosome. The Golgi cisternia are concentrically arranged near the nucleus with distinct convex or the forming phase and concave or the maturing phase. Each cisternia is surrounded by single lipoprotein membrane. Two, tubules and vesicles. 
which are present at the periphery. The vacuoles associated with dictosomes are considered as condensing vacuoles or presecretory granules. They are rich in acid phosphatase. Functions of Golgi complex 1. Golgi complex involves in the synthesis of cell wall materials like hemicellulose, cellulose, etc. 2. It helps in secretion of lipids, hormones and enzymes. Primary lysosomes originate from Golgi complex. 4. It plays an important role in cell plate formation during cell divisions. 5. Glycoproteins, glycolipids, mucilage, gums are synthesized in Golgi complexes. Lysosomes. They are spherical single membrane bound organelles. They were first reported and named as isosomes by Christian de Duer, 1995. In plants, they are generally found in the meristematic cells. Each isosome is a rounded body of about 0.4 micrometers. It encloses a fine granular fluid which is rich in digestive enzymes, the acid hydrolases. Lysosomes generally originate from tubules of endoplasmic reticulum or from cisternia of Golgi complex. As long as lysosome membrane is intact, enzymes are inactive. The enzymes once liberated destroy the entire cell. Hence, they are called suicidal bags. Lysosomes are found in all animal cells except mammalian RBCs. Plant cells lack lysosomes except yeast and fungi. Based on morphology of contents and functions, lysosomes are classified into four main types. 1. Primary lysosomes. 2. Secondary lysosomes. 3. Residual bodies. And 4. Autophagic vacuoles. Primary lysosomes. These are spherical vesicles filled with only digestive enzymes such as hydrolytic and phospholytic enzymes. These are produced from Golgi apparatus. The enzymes are in inactive state in primary lysosome. Secondary lysosome. These are spherical recycles which show the presence of digestive food molecules. Tertiary lysosome are residual bodies. These are spherical recycles which contain undigested food materials. Autophagic vacuoles. On aging and in certain pathological conditions, the lysosomes attack other intercellular organelles surrounded them, envelop them in vacuoles and digest them. Such vacuolar lysosomes are referred as autophagic vacuoles. Functions of lysosomes 1. Intercellular digestion Digestion of food materials and inactive cellular components within the cell. 2. Autophagy Digestion of its own particles within the cell. 3. Heterophagy Digestion of foreign particles within the cell. 4. They cause autolysis of all contents. 5. Extracellular digestion by releasing enzyme outside the cell. Vacuoles. Vacuole is the cavity of cytoplasm filled with watery fluid called cell sap. They were first reported by Spallanzani. In meristematic cells, the vacuoles are minute in size and many in number. In permanent cell, the vacuole is large in size, single, and occupies the center of the entire cell. In such a cell, 
the cytoplasm is pushed towards periphery and is in the form of thin layer. Such a condition is called primordial utricle. The vacuole is bounded by a single lipoproteinaceous membrane called tonoplast. As there is no excretory system in plant, various types of metabolites, reserve food, waste products, pigments, etc. are dumped in the vacuoles. Hence, vacuoles are called storehouse or repositories of cell. Functions of vacuoles 1. Vacuoles help osmoregulatory function. 2. Vacuoles help in storage of different substances, food, water, byproducts. 3. They maintain turgidity of the cell. 4. They store poisonous substances formed as byproducts during metabolism and protect the cell from toxic effects. 5. Vacuoles containing colored cell sap impart color to plant parts and help in attracting insects.